The abundance of krill attracts other visitors to the peninsula in the summer. Antarctic minke whales. Their pointed heads and short dorsal fins give them speed and endurance. And they need both. There are other whales here, too. Killers. This is an extended family of mothers and their young. And the male with a huge dorsal fin almost two meters high. A lone minky whale. It's just what this group of killer whales are looking for. Working as a team, as they have done for decades, they fan out across the strait in search of their quarry. And they found it. The minke races away, pursued by outriders on each flank. the minky heads for the shore. It's so desperate to escape, it almost beaches itself. It makes a desperate break for freedom. Hours and 20 miles later, the minke is still alive and swimming strongly. Its only real defense is its endurance. But the killers work as a team, with fresh ones replacing the outriders in relays. And as the minky tires, the battering and the biting begins. Seabirds are attracted by the smell of fresh blood rising from the water. try to flip the minky over. If they can manage to keep its blowhole underwater, it will drown. One forces the minky's whole body down below the surface. And then, the final strike. The team drag the minky under for the last time, and the hunters finally can feed. A 
a giant, prehistoric-looking bird. A shoebill. Standing well over a meter tall, she roams these swamps, trying to catch catfish. Not exactly what she was after. Deeper into the swamp lies the reason for all this fishing. This chick is just three weeks old and a little bit wobbly on its feet. Its vast bill means it has trouble balancing. It won't be able to fly or even walk properly for several weeks. It's entirely reliant on its parents for food and water. There is also a smaller chick who isn't doing so well. The larger chick pesters its mother for a drink. While she goes off to fetch water, it reveals a dark side to the relationship with its nestmate. It's three days older than the other chick and has always won the race for food and attention. This is more than just a scrap between two siblings. As their mother returns, she sees what the larger chick has done. The smaller chick seeks its mother's comfort. But she has already made her choice. Only her firstborn will get a drink. This is going to be the end of the road for a lot of salmon. These bears are really hungry. They haven't tasted salmon for 10 months and the big males battle for the best fishing spots. The longer the salmon take over their journey upstream, the weaker they become. And these falls present them with their biggest challenge yet. Although the falls aren't very tall, the bears hold the high ground. The salmon make short, exploratory leaps to see where the bears are.
but they don't always get it right. This mother bear has been waiting months for this moment. Competition is fierce for these first salmon, even between a mother and her own cubs. More and more fish arrive at the foot of the falls. Eventually, they have to go for it, regardless of the danger. But numbers are on their side. For every salmon that gets caught, hundreds make it past the bears. Even when more sea lions arrive, they can't seem to break down the sardines' coordinated defenses. With a shoal this big, the sea lions need to isolate a smaller, more manageable group of fish. But with so few predators, the fish still have the advantage. All the sea lions can do is keep the sardines at the surface and wait for others to join them. Their arrival changes everything. Tuna attack from below, cutting off the sardines' escape route down to deeper water. Next to appear, shearwaters. Excellent flyers, but also surprisingly agile underwater. With so many predators attacking from all sides, the advantage starts to shift away from the sardines. As the fish pack ever tighter, their shoaling strategy now makes it easier for the hunters. sharks. They've scented blood in the water. Surprisingly, perhaps, the predators never attack one another. They work together to corral the ball of fish, taking turns to grab a mouthful. Common dolphins. As the shoal gets ever smaller, each sardine scrambles desperately to hide in the middle. 
But now, there's no escape. A brooder's whale finishes off the feast. Tons of sardines devoured in less than an hour. There will be no easy meals on this island. Walruses are the largest seals in the world. They weigh over a ton and are armed with tusks a metre long. Exhausted from his swim, the bear must regain his strength. The next day, a sea fog shrouds the island. The Wallaces sense that they're in danger. Using the fog as cover, the bear approaches the herd. The adults close ranks around their young, presenting a wall of blubber and hide. tests the barrier, but it stands firm. It appears that the world's largest land carnivore has met his match. There must be a chink in the armor somewhere. Not here. This female walrus is shielding her pup, if he can just prize her off. The bear's claws and teeth can't penetrate her thick hide. With the herd retreating to water, the bear must move quickly. Having failed with one, he heads straight for another. The chance of his first meal in months is slipping away. seems increasingly desperate. It's now or never. He must avoid the stabbing tusks if he's to win. The flailing walrus is immensely powerful and drags the bear away from the shallows towards the safety of the herd. from his grasp. 